Japan has a lot of otaku events, and I mean a lot. Most of you know about Comiket, but that mostly focuses on, well, comics. And as we all know, this channel focuses quite strongly on anime figures. So I thought, there must be something for figures. So today, let me introduce you all to Winter Wonderfest 2020. Before we get into the details, I want to let you all know that this will be a two-part series. Today's video will focus on what Wonderfest is, and explain more about the purpose and what to explain going there, with of course some highlights of the day. The next video, hopefully coming later this week, will be a highlight reel showcasing some of the best figures we saw at the event, because oh my god, were there a lot of amazing figures, and there were way too many to put into this video. So please look forward to that video coming soon. But with all that said and done, let's get straight into the action. Wonderfest is the biggest figure festival held in Japan twice a year, once in February and once in July. The festival takes place in Chiba at the Maruhari Messe. The event has many purposes, but the main goals are as follows. To announce new figure prototypes that are planned to be released later this year, to showcase some of the newest figures soon to be in production, to sell some limited time only goods, and for amateur enthusiasts to sell garage kits. Recently there's been a boom in 3D printing. It's pretty easy these days to get your hands on a 3D printer relatively cheaply, and with this comes the opportunity to make your own figures. These figures are known as garage kits, as they're basically printed in people's garages. Now this is where it gets interesting. These garage kits are outstanding. I mean, some of these figures are higher quality than some of the professionally produced figures you spend hundreds of dollars on. The only difference is that the figures you buy here, you need to put together and paint yourself, which is great for the aspiring artists, but it does make it relatively difficult for those not so creative. But at the same time, it does open the door for opportunity. I actually bought one myself. So in a future video, we're going to look at constructing it. And if my creative mode is on, maybe even painting it. But for now, let me give you a small look at some of the best garage kits we saw this year. So on top of all the anime figures and garage kits, there are a lot of other things you can expect to see here. First off is the cosplay. Now, because it's winter, there are not as many cosplayers as you might expect at an event like this, but that didn't stop them coming out in their best costumes. There are also various live events held throughout the day with famous idols and voice actors giving interviews. Unfortunately, there are strict rules on photographs and recording of these, so there is no footage. So please enjoy whatever video is in the background right now. They also had some cool cars there, including this one with the awesome Miku designs on it. There are also a lot of gacha games you can play to win figures and other various prizes. One of them was with Sega. If you followed them on Twitter, you got one free try on their figure gacha. And guess who won a prize? Looks like we have another figure to open in a future video. And for all you perverts, there are many adult sections you can go into to see... Well, more lecherous goods that shouldn't be seen by children. You will be asked to show your ID to enter, so make sure you have it ready. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, there were so many amazing figures that I cannot highlight them all in this video. So please, please just wait a little bit longer to see them in another video coming very soon. For now, let me just give you a small preview of a few.
As with all big events like these, there are some others that you should try to follow. For example, when taking pictures of exhibits, make sure that you ask the artist first if it's okay to take a photo. There are signs on most displays saying no problem, but make sure you ask first. The same goes for cosplayers. Don't go trying to get those dirty angle shots and looking like a complete perv. Ask them nicely. I'm sure once you ask them, they'll let you take all the pervy pics you want. Also, if you're looking at display items, don't touch them. Hands off, eyes only. Another unspoken rule that was highlighted this year was hygiene. As the coronavirus is still causing global panic, everyone was advised to wear a mask at all times and to use the antiseptic sprays found all over the place. Gotta stay healthy for the Summer Wonderfest! Accessing here is not incredibly difficult, but at the same time it's not easy. If you're going from Tokyo Station, you'll want to take the Rapid Express Kaio Line train to Kaihin Makuhari Station. From there, it's a 5 minute walk to the main hall. There are also various buses going in that direction too, so I'll leave a link in the description to help you get there safely. In terms of pricing, it's a set cost of 2,500 yen per person, and children under 12 get in free. However, there are no tickets for the event. Instead, you need to buy an event book for the day. This is your ticket. You can get these in advance from shops on the day, but you can just as easily pick them up when you arrive there. It just means a little waiting. So if you're like me, you'll want to get there for the opening time. The event starts at 10am, so of course I arrive there early. Only to be met by crowds of people waiting in line for the doors to open. And it wasn't an organised line. It was pretty messy. But once you get in, you can move around freely with no worries. However, you can imagine there will be a lot of people in there. So just make sure you stay conscious of your surroundings. I had many times where people were just backing up into me, so you can imagine how packed it was. Plus, there is no seating. Yep, no seating. There are some stairs that are not in use, so you can park your backside on one of these. But other than these rare saving graces, there is no chance of getting a seat. However, with your event book, you can exit and re-enter as many times as you like. So you can go out and find somewhere to park the rump. So as I mentioned, Wonderfest is held twice a year, once in the winter and once in the summer. For 2020, the next Wonderfest will be held in Shanghai in April, as long as the coronavirus doesn't affect it, and Tokyo in July. Again, I'll leave links to the official website in the comments below. There is no English, so hopefully you can brush up on your Japanese or use Google Translate to translate it. But there you have it! That is Wonderfest 2020. It's the absolute must-go-to place for all figure collectors. I will of course be going there again at some point in the future, so if you see me there, feel free to stop me and say hi. In our next video, we're going to showcase some of the best figures from the expo, so please look forward to that. But thanks again for tuning in today, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video coming soon.